Welcome back to the Ghost Key. I am Gray, and today we have some more FM14 for you. Um, I know I haven't posted this in a long, 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 long time. And quite honestly, I had kind of toyed with the idea of giving it up. Um, <clears throat> but I decided against that. Um, mostly because I've been playing so much Football Manager on my own. Um, outside of all the stuff we're playing for the channel and all that good shit, that I just kind of I never really fell in love with it again. I just, like I said, I just, you know, I just wanted to keep going. Um, one of the big reasons is because I I made another new formation, so we're gonna roll that out today. Um, this formation kind of was born from the idea of what Liverpool's doing. Um, I'm a big Liverpool fan, so. I mean, Rodgers recently this year, you know, was at the Man United game, changed to this uh, three four two one. I I was intrigued, so I decided, you know, I kind of toyed with the idea for a while, and eventually, what I did is I took our original four one three two zero. This guy right here, if you remember that from a couple episodes ago, I just started using that, and I basically took everything that makes that formation tick and just really just change the shape um i changed a few players roles a little bit here and there but that's pretty much it we do keep the complete wing backs but you know it is what it is hopefully this this will help us maintain some sort of defensive solidarity i haven't extensively tested this by which i mean tested this against champions league teams um however league level teams and I, I should actually mention, I've, I've been playing this on my Galway file. And I, on my Galway file, I have two different teams. Um, I have, obviously, Galway United, or what used to be Galway FC, and now Galway United again. Um, and the other team that I have on there, because I not really get bored. I just, I just like having another team sometimes. Um, Viking FK over in Norway got relegated to the second division, so I went ahead and picked that team up as well. So I have really two different levels of competition. I have one with, you know, relatively world-class players, and one with players that are a little bit better than the ones we have now. So it's not entirely different, but like I said, it's very relative, and the players that I have actually on, on Viking FK are a little bit better than the rest of the players in the second division in Norway. So therefore, there's really not... Well, I'm not going to say not much competition, but it's easier competition than it would be in this competition, likely, because there's a lot of parity. I've said that a thousand times in this league. There's a ton of parity in the Finnish second division. So um, what we've got going on is this formation. I maintained its its uh, strikerless formation, you know, strikerless aspect of it. Um, I had... Brendan Rodgers uses it. It uses an actual striker up here with like Daniel Sturridge or Balotelli right now. Like I said, I went ahead and just dropped these guys all back in the midfield because I like the way our strikeless formation was working. And when I did this, it really does crowd midfield a lot. Hopefully, we'll get a win today because we kind of do need it. But it just it does a really good job of compacting midfield. And I've only let a handful. God, I wouldn't even say a handful. Honestly, I think I've probably played a good 10, 12 matches and I've only surrendered one or two goals with Viking. So I'm very, very, very happy with the way it's defending. Um, like I said, we do keep the complete wing backs as attackers. Well, that's kind of what complete wing backs are. You'll see the way that it attacks. Um, we will surrender a decent amount of possession. It's not really a possession oriented formation. Um, mostly because we sit so far back. But. It does seem to take his chances and take his chances well. We are not only going to score one or two goals. Hopefully, we can score you know one or two today and win and keep Haka out of the out of the back of the net. Um, we will see, though. <laughs> Quite honestly, I am going to go take a look at. Uh, geez, uh, where the hell is this? There we go. Set piece creator. Do need to go ahead and take a look at this and make sure this is kind of taken care of, really. Um, yeah, yeah, da, 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 da. I want you, Hinkalo. Where are you? Um, I have been toying with this a little bit. Um, it's been I don't know how to say it. It's 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 been working a little bit more the way I've been kind of using the um, the. Uh, Actually, we want you. We don't want you. 
defending that over there. I don't I really don't really don't care for them. Who was that again? That's uh geez, hunting. Alright, yeah, close down, go back. Uh I'll go ahead and man mark somebody. Go ahead and do that. Um also one thing, because the way the 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 defenders kind of well, defend um, it does a really good job of dropping people back behind the ball and, and keeping everyone kind of out of there. Um, that's one thing. Oh, Jesus. I guess we got Harala. I haven't really done this much. As you can see, I'm going to go with Gron Holm as well. Um, however, this formation does give us, um, I didn't really mention it, but it does give us a little bit more, a little extra uh, coverage. In, in terms of our, our squad depth, so I'm pretty happy with that. But um, like I said, that's kind of it's it's just a lot better. Like I said, for me, it's more stable. I like the four one two three zero, but this this formation is a little more like I said, compact. It defends better. It it just for me, it it feels a little better. Maybe a little boring to watch because like I said, we don't have a ton of possession you know, primarily, and it is going to be painful to watch right now because we are switching over to this formation right now and and really, you know, going through those growing pains because the team really isn't, really isn't uh, up to speed on how to play this. I did put uh, Nusikangas in the uh, in the squad, though, for some coverage at center back because that is, as I've said before, the one area that we have weakness. Um... And it's it's just it's it is what it is. Like I said, hopefully this will help solidify things so that our central defenders, since we have a lack of depth and lack of talent at that position, keeps them from being exposed. Because that's kind of been the problem. They've been getting exposed and and all that good shit. So um oh jeez, how should we do that? All right, yeah, I'll just go out there and wing it, I suppose. Right. But anyhow, um, like I said, I, I, I like this formation a lot. I mean, you see, you can see really already how we kind of drop back and defend. This is our furthest, you know, furthest attacking player, really. This is our AMC right here. And, you know, the way they close down and how they're all out there, it's, like I said, it's, I like it. I like it because we can see, and now we can kind of, you know, have numbers back to help defend. So we don't get stretched, we don't get, you know, um, really moved. Actually, uh, not, not Harala. Was it Harala or Owusu? Ooh. Um, one of our, uh, oh, fuck. Really? Uh, no, he gets the card, but the other guy don't get a card. No, no card. All right, we're good. But anyway, um, since we have two, two defensive midfielders now, um, one of them acts as a halfback, and I, I'm pretty sure I'm going to need to change that at some point. That is still a work in progress. I mean, I should say this whole formation is a work in progress, really. I was going to say, Jesus, if they're going to fucking score on that. That's bullshit. Um, because I'm pretty sure with the three center backs, I'll just move the fucking ball, dude. Seriously. Oof. Good thing is, though, look at that. I mean, like I said, we, we have good positioning. And Granholm, I really don't want him. I really don't want him to be the guy. Well, he isn't too bad. I want to say it's a wing back. And hopefully this will suit him a little bit better. Um, and also, I don't know if you noticed, but I put uh, Stafsula back into the squad up here at this wing back position up there on the left. He's not primarily set up for that position, but I am trying something new. On my Galway teams and stuff like that, I have real actual defenders that I throw in there, but he's more of an attacking player who could also play that wing back spot, which is what Brendan Rodgers is doing right now with Liverpool. You know, he has out and out true traditional wingers playing those defensive quote unquote positions and it's more of a tactical defensive position because of how much they're supposed to get involved anyway in the attack which is really the same idea with this formation as well especially with them as complete wing backs like I said it kind of gives you it kind of gives you a, a little bit more positional coverage in, in terms of defense but it also gives you some extra attack as well. Obviously, I don't think we'll, our wing backs will attack very much, if at all. Honestly, considering their talent level, I don't think that's going to be one of their strengths. Um, but hopefully, going forward, you know, we'll see we'll see better play out of that position. Because, like I said, the 
I might see it. Not like that run right there. The way Osei and... Oh, you should have fucking scored. The way our two central uh, midfielders work as well, they're, they are, as, as it is called, a central midfielder. But since they had the attack formation, formation, the attack uh, instruction on, and they're attacking-minded, they still get forward a lot. Like I just saw that right there. Quincy Osei, that guy, and, and Mika Hananen are going to be our primary goal scorers, or should be our primary goal scorers, anyway. Murato Nal is really, because of the way the AMC works in this position, is going to be more of a more of a facilitator up there you know because especially when you have fast guys like Osei in in Hananen isn't super pacey though but if you got guys with pace that are coming out of there and making runs like you saw you're gonna have a lot of opportunities of course there we didn't fucking score but those are the kind of opportunities you'll, you'll get better opportunities in my mind than we were getting you know or higher quality of opportunities I should say than than with the other formation in all honesty. Um, and like I said, you can see the possession up here now. I mean, we surrender a lot, and this will get better. Well, it'll be much closer to 50-50 um, once they understand the formation a little bit better. Um, but that's that's the way it's going to be, like I said. And as unfortunate as it is, you know, because you don't really want to have to, to surrender formation. That's really now or surrender formation. Surrender possession. You don't really want to surrender possession too much in football. But like I said, this is defensively minded enough. And, and it's still got the attack instruction on as well, the attack mentality. I mean, like I said, everything is the same. All the instructions are pretty much the same as the other formation are. Uh, 4 1 2 3 0. That other striker list formation is pretty much, it's pretty much the same thing, just a little change. In, in positioning and obviously formation so that we got a little a little bit of different stuff and that's exactly what I figured would happen fucking hell <sighs> guys first fucking goal of the year and he comes off of a fucking corner that we try to clear right into him that is though primarily the only way we're gonna have goals scored against us I think that's the only way I've had goals scored against me with Viking as well is through through um, corners you know, or set pieces rather, in general. I don't think we've really surrendered but maybe one open play goal, which is good. Of course, like I said, it doesn't help when we don't have a true defender back there as our third defender in Hagblum. So, we kind of just got to fucking deal with it, really. <laughs> like I said, it's, it's going to be tough, and we might not go up at the end of the season, especially if things kind of continue going the way they're going right now. I mean, it's not really positive like I said we kind of drop oh yeah we dropped points in the last the last match and we'll probably lose this one too I mean as as it is I mean we're not we're not even threatening at all here we had the one good chance that Ose squandered really there you go oh boy Yeesh. good thing is they did get forced into subbing into their Secondary goalkeeper. I mean, that's that's potentially a positive if we can, you know, get the ball at all. I mean, God damn it, Harala, really? Jesus. I mean, he's gonna get yellow for sure here. Yeah, absolutely. There's no way he wasn't going to. But that means, like I said, we get better coverage now on the bench. So we, we should be all right in that aspect. I mean, we can bring on Nermela, which is what I'm going to do at halftime here, for for Harala. I mean, both those tackles that he's made, the first one he got away with, the second one, though, he could easily be be sent off by now. You know, if, if you know, the game was wanting to be a douche, which it has been to me lately quite a bit. Honestly, Jesus, it's been bad. Oh, Christ. Yeah. Clearly, we can't defend corners. Mm -hmm. But that's kind of been the fucking problem we've had the whole fucking season on this file. So it's it is what it is, I suppose. I mean, like I said, I don't have much for defenders, and and for whatever reason, yeah, I, I've come to the conclusion that the the uh, corners in this game are very very tough. I've tried a lot of things, and it's depending, you know, not even depending. I mean, regardless of how good of players you have, it's really hard to defend. 
corners on this game. I mean, I don't think the instructions are there to really stop what other teams do. In in all honesty, um, I mean, like I said, I'd I've gone through and I've messed with it enough to give it to give it a real go, but it to little to no effect, honestly. So it's kind of gotten to a point where I've sort of given it up, given up on it on here. I mean, I've seen some good you know how to's and what for's for um seeing, seeing that right there look how far Stasso was up there and really gives you some good good options up front if you you know can pass the fucking ball right but anyhow I mean it, I've seen some good some good helpful things for FM15 and it seems that FM15 you have a little bit more control over that but in this game like I said I I'm not entirely ooh Stasso you better fucking score here there we go and that's a wing back. That's our left wing back right there. I mean, good play switching it over that to that side, to that side, to that side. Good, good play switching it over that side. But like I said, their runs as complete wing backs really help this formation a lot. I didn't like them, like I said, with the four backs, the, the four defenders back there, because you know if he makes that run, it leaves the other two entirely exposed, and I don't like that. Really, I mean, I. I but like I said, in this formation, you got enough. Oh my God, Stasel again! Really? Can you get the brace? And oh, he can. He can. Look at that. Turn that shit around real quick. And then once again, I mean, some decent passing in this formation and it opens up a lot of doors and good runs too. I mean, those two really good runs. And, and once once again, the thing that I really like about this formation is where the wing backs attack because we kind of play sort of narrow like that. He's attacking the corners of the box right there, as you saw, and really, really doesn't you know he doesn't push to the byline for a cross, which is personally what I like. That means really you get at least four people who are making runs into the box, looking to score goals, not looking to cross. Because it's not really I've never really liked that part of the game. I know I've played some formations and I've. To a decent degree of success using shit like that, but personally, that's just not my thing. I mean, then like I said, look how look how narrow Gronholm plays there too. That's one thing. Like I said, I don't like how they they hug that line sometimes. You know, I really like how narrow they play, how they play on the inside foot right there, so they can really. And just look at the numbers you've got right there. I mean, look at that. You got three guys, three guys shutting this guy down. I don't even know who number 24 for FC Hockey is, but you know you got three players closing them down. Like I said, defensively for me, this formation is much more stable, and I like that. As long as you don't do stupid shit and get in trouble, like you know, you can. But anyway, I mean, like I said, it's it's fun to watch at least. And now you have plenty of runners if you can just pass the damn ball, man. God, come on now. A little bit of decision making would be great. There you go. You can tell though who the players are that under, that understand what's going on in 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 the the match and the ones that don't really understand what's going on with this formation. Eesh. That's a shot. I wish it would have. I don't know. I don't care for shots like that. A little too far. Bad of an too bad of an angle. Really. But at least we've managed to at least so far get a point out of this if we can just keep them off the board for the next 30 minutes. It's a big if though, it's a big ask, like I said, it's, you know, once we shore up the, well, if we can, shore up the 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 corners and stuff like that, good tackle there though. And also with, with the wing backs that we now use too, like I said, it, would, it opens up some more, some more coverage, because now we have someone who can actually come in for Gronholm, and, um, and, uh, oh god, Stafsila on the other side as well. And that's if Stasilo, if, if we decide to keep him as part of the uh, as part of the formation. Ooh, yeah, 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 yeah. No, there's nothing there. Those are plays that I need to kind of you know wait out, pull the ball back, retain possession a little bit more. We're starting to push possession a little bit more in our direction, but not as much. We're gonna get. Okay, I was gonna say Stas is gonna get a card now too. But uh, 
Boost has just been terrible. Just giving the ball away everywhere today. There's no reason he should be allowed to fucking do that there. there are four players all around him. You gotta shut him down. Now see, uh, here's another corner and oh god. Ugh. Give away another one. It does help though that we have Nermela in there too, who's a little bit more of an aerial threat. Especially since he's playing back there as, as a defensive midfielder, he's able to get back a little bit more and oh no 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 no. Clear it. No oh, fuck. God damn. Ugh. It's a complete inability to deal with these. It's like, yeah, it's like Liverpool all over again. Jesus Christ. It's terrible. And the thing, as I said before, the, the thing is, you know, it, you don't have as much control on FM14, in my honest opinion. Like I said, I've had world-class defenders, and you still have shit like that happen. And it's like, how and why? And against inferior teams as well. I mean, it's like, you know, I don't know what the hell I'm supposed to do. Because like I said, you've only got like two options as to how to defend corners. I mean, man mark or just have everyone staying around in there. I mean, it's, it's, uh, like I said, it, just when you think, oh, well, we'll go ahead and man mark. And that'll solve things, and it doesn't. You know, I mean, after, after a while you start realizing, well, shit, I'm still conceding just as many goals. But, you know, yeah, like I said, it is what it is. And you can't really zonal, and, and that's something too, they don't really even have the op option to defend corners zonally. I mean, it's it's kind of just either man mark or whatever the hell option that is. I mean, it, they don't even call it zonal marking or anything like that. They just kind of stand around. And as you see right there, it's wildly ineffectual sometimes. I mean, it's just, it's... It's very, very infuriatingly frustrating. It really is. Because, I mean, obviously, all three of their goals have come off of corners. And, you know, we're going to lose this match because of it. You know, and it's just what the hell do you do when you have no options to do so? To change any of that, really. I mean, like I said, you just... You know, it pisses me off, really, it does. But, it is what it is, I suppose. I mean, I guess... Oh, closing down for the love of God. There you go. See, now we're starting, yeah, to surrender more possession. Oh, boy. And I have had a lot of freak-ass goals in this game, too. Um, I've had a lot of really bad crosses that they've sent in that have scored. You know, for... the one, Like I said, one of the reasons why... Ooh, you got options if you can do something constructive here. There we go. Of course, Kalkman somehow, somehow gets in the fucking way here. And like I said, I've had a bear of a time trying to score off of corners too. I mean, it's, I don't know what the hell I'm supposed to do. Like I said, I've looked at all sorts of shit, I've tried all sorts of shit, and nothing's really worked any better than the other one. You know, but, and like I said, I mean, that's with some, woo, staff slow, what the hat trick. Unbelievable. And once again, you gotta remember where he's scoring from. That's one of the things that makes this formation, in, in some aspects, kind of tough to defend. Because he's such a, you know, defending, he contributes so much to that. So you think, theoretically, that he A, isn't going to make those runs, or B, he's not looking to score. Whereas, like I said, there, he was actually decently marked. But he's still there in those scoring areas like that. So really, like I said, it's it gives you it gives you a chance to score from a lot of different you know from a lot of different angles. It's not as it's not as traditional as as people think, and I think that's why I've started liking um, I think that's why I've started liking strikerless a lot is because you can you can score from a lot of different areas. Like I said, you've got those uh, kind of shadow runners, shadow strikers. Almost is what the central attacking mid or central midfielders are. I mean, you kind of got guys that oh Jesus, bringing just bringing people down here, Jesus. And you got a lot a lot of support there too. I mean, you can really manipulate that back four. Look, you've got them all bunched up here, and if Murata Nal could make that pass to Ose, it's it's 
a good opportunity. And now the yeah, play is kind of bogged down here. But those are things also that will come in time as we figure this formation out. Um, a lot of those passes that you just saw there are are open frequently because of how much you move that back forward. Because it's very similar, like I said, to the way the other one was working. Our previous formation, our 4 one 2 three, zero, The way that one moved the back forward, you'll see a lot of that in this formation as well. And a lot of open plays like that. And, you know, it's... Like I said, it, it because of it being strikeless, it then allows you to score from lots of different areas. Like I said, that sort of balance is something I like a lot. Overall, pretty disappointing performance here. I'm not going to lie. Um, but like I said, I, I guess I'll have to go fuck with <laughs> the the set piece stuff once again. Even though, like I said, I fucking tried it a thousand times. And nothing seems to work. And honestly, I'm, gonna, I'm not gonna lie. This is the most this is the most goals I've ever surrendered with this formation, in the you know 20 some odd games that I've used it for. This is the most. So um, with that being that, uh, I guess like I said, I guess we can kind of you know say good job for not losing, even though you can't defend worth a shit. It's really how I feel about it. But the good thing is, look at that. I mean, we are one point behind FC Haka. In second place still, so that's because KTP, oh, KTP did win. PK35 lost. That's good, though. That's good. But like I said, I mean, look at how, I mean, look at the parity. I mean, almost half the league is in the hunt. You know, I guess I should say half the division is in the hunt for promotion. You know, that's, that's pretty, that's pretty fun. Um, hopefully this formation, like I said, in the long run will give us a, uh, a better chance of getting up. I think it will. We just have to give it some time and give the players time to figure out what in the hell they're supposed to do. But anyhow, that does it for this episode of YouTube. Wow. Wow. What the hell am I saying? Anyway, that does it for this episode. If you made it this far, you know what to do. Thanks a lot for watching. And remember, the ghost key is the only place where pants are optional.